Yo, what's going on guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to use and counter the brand new card coming to Clash Rail, the Goblinstein. So basically, it's a 5 elixir card, and it's this little Frankenstein thing, and then a little doctor behind it. Basically, the green Frankenstein here, it's gonna go straight for the tower, or straight for buildings, so it's a building targeting unit. Doesn't get knocked back by stuff really at all. And then the little doctor guy, he can basically attack ground and air, but he also stuns every troop he hits for 0.5 seconds with each attack. He has quite a bit of HP too. And there is an ability for this card because it is a champion. So there's there's a two elixir ability on the card which basically makes a bunch of lightning bolts between the Frankenstein. Yeah, you guys can see it here between the Frankenstein and the monster. And oh my gosh, our tower is kind of just evaporating. <laughs> Man, this card is... I don't know, I want to say it's broken, but it's hard to tell. I feel like the little guy has so much HP and this ability seems insane. But it's hard to tell. It's You know, it is an expensive card. If you play the card, it's 5 elixir, but obviously the ability is also 2 elixir, so that's a whole 7 elixir. But I don't know, it still feels very strong to me. But it is tough to say. I don't know, maybe certain things like P.E.K.K.A. could counter it well. But at the same time, this electric ability is really good. And by the way, guys, if the green Frankenstein monster dies, he'll basically drop a rod on the ground. And then with that, you can still press the ability, even if you only have the doctor alive. And he's going to basically make an electric pulse to wherever, from wherever he is to wherever that pole is that gets dropped on the map. So, yeah, you can actually get quite a few abilities off sometimes. Well, not quite a few, but sometimes too, if you're lucky. Or even if the monster dies early, you can still get that one ability off. We're looking okay here so far. Yeah, I don't know, it's a very interesting card. It feels like a card that has never really been... Like, like this type of card has never really been in Clash Royale before, so it's going to be very difficult to figure out how to use this properly. Uh, I don't even know what I would say the best counter to it is. I, I feel like it has to be P.E.K.K.A., I guess, because... I mean, the Lightning Bolt does do a lot of damage from the ability, but... Um, I don't know, it's nothing like that's going to damage a P.E.K.K.A. all that much. Okay, wait a minute here. Our Frankenstein will just tank here, so I guess we're fine. Honestly, the Frankenstein really does almost no damage. Look at the Lightning Bolt! Dude, that's crazy. It's so hard to tell what the Lightning Bolt does because it's just so strange. Look at our Lightning. Yeah, so basically like anything with any, anything close to the Lightning, when it goes, will just get heavily damaged. It does a lot of damage, guys. I don't know if you realize, but it does a lot of damage. Wow, beautiful Hulk. Okay, I think we got him. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think of this card so far? We're going to play a few more matches here and keep on testing it. Very nice first win. All right, we have this strange Mega Knight Goblin Stein deck. I think decks like this could work quite well with the new card. I'm really not sure what to think of it. I want to say it's very good, but it is five elixir at the same time. So it's hard to say at this point. Okay, Adrian does decide to split the card. I don't really think that's a great play. I feel like you usually want to go for them together because now our Inferno Dragon will wreck the Goblin Stein. And by the way, guys, I think this will be the last Goblin card for a long time. At least I hope. <laughs> okay, he could ability here. We'll see if he does. Oh, the guards! What the heck? Man, do you guys see the reach on this lightning? It seems like it hits stuff in such a far area. Man, this ability seems quite broken. Wow. That is not too good for us here, but maybe our lightning will do- Yo, Darth Sidious! Look at the damage! Darth freaking Sidious, man. And guys, it is worth noting that it does do reduced crown tower damage, but even to the crown tower, it still does solid damage, I feel like. It seems like the ability does so much damage that it can pretty much fully kill an Inferno Dragon, which is quite a lot of damage. Especially considering the reach of the thing as well, and the area of effect that it has. Man, this new card is going to be kind of crazy. Alright, he has the Goblin Stein, so we have to just go for the Mega Knight first. We can't Inferno Dragon too early. Because, uh... The Doctor will always reset it. Luckily, the Doctor doesn't do splash damage, though. And also, the bolts of the ability don't reset or anything like that. But, you still have to watch out for sure. This Inferno Dragon should pretty much kill everything, so I think we're okay for now. Yeah, I don't know, I just see Goblin Stein being pretty good in some type of bridge spam deck. I feel like that's the main deck that will use this new card. But if it's really as broken as it's looking right now, then it might just be used in everything. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have to see about that. Ooh, nice Inferno Dragon's on the tower, look at the, look at the damage. Alright, I feel like he's definitely gonna try to get an ability off here. I'm gonna Evo Zap this side of the ability for us here. See what it does here against the Prince and everything? 
You know what? It's doing something. I mean, it doesn't affect the prince that much, obviously, but... You know, that's not that bad, actually. Not too much damage taken. Alright, we do have our doctor still alive here. I'll Mega Knight in front of it, just want to keep it alive. The rod is kind of just all the way back here on our side, so we can't really use the ability, I feel like. Oh, nice, it's on the... Oh, it's not on the tower anymore, but look at the Mega Knight. Mega Knight's already going to take it either way, I think. Huh, okay. I, I think we got Adrian. I don't see any way for him to win. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see how the Mega Knight does here. I think it should do a good job. It feels so funny that it doesn't push back the Goblin Stein. Oh no, the, the zapping. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next match. Alright, we got the next match. I'm pretty excited to try out this deck here. We have Bridge Spam with Goblin Stein. I think this should be a perfect fit for the deck. Normally the Goblin Stein doesn't get too much value itself like the, the big green Frankenstein, but... I think with these bridge spam cards, we can definitely make some good use of it, especially to tank for our battle ram and stuff like that. Ooh, Mother Witch will get some piggies here as well. Looks like Adrian has a Mortar Bait deck. You know, Mortar Bait could be decent with it too. It's like some type of hybrid Mortar Bait deck. That kind of seems good as well. We'll see what he does here against this Goblin Stein. You know, one thing I've noticed just off of playing it a little bit is that it doesn't really go for buildings. Oh, it's actually Mega Knight. Yeah, the one thing I've noticed is that it doesn't really go for buildings the way other building targeting troops do. It feels like you have to play your buildings a little bit closer to it than you do for like a Hog Rider, for example. A little bit of damage. You guys can see it really doesn't do too much, though. You know, maybe I could have pressed the ability. We could still do it now, but I feel like it's not really worth it. I'm not sure. If it's such a heavy troop like a Mega Knight, I don't really know if that's worth it. Hopefully Adrian doesn't try to ability here, and we should be good. Um, very late ability. Let's see how much tower damage that does. Wow. That was quite a bit. That's honestly quite a bit of tower damage. Okay. Adrian might be in trouble right now. I'll just arrows quickly. Hopefully that connects to the tower. Okay, not quite. A little bit of barb damage. Nice damage on the left as well. The Mother Witch is going to be so broken here. Bandit should chain pretty quickly off this monitor to the tower. So that could be something. <laughs> nice. Nice, very good damage. I'll Ghost as well, just want to keep on pressuring him here. The nice thing is that even though he has Mega Knight, it doesn't really counter Goblin Stein all that well because, you know, the Doctor can just stun it and the Frankenstein guy doesn't get pushed back. I don't really know what to call this card, man. Since it's in two units, I don't really know how to refer to this card. <laughs> okay, I think Adrian's dead here. We have the Lightning Bolt going now. Yo! <laughs> the bats just got evaporated. Oh my gosh. This, this almost feels kind of similar to the to the Evo E-Dragon in a sense, because it just kills everything. <laughs> just chains on absolutely everything. Okay, this Evo Mega Knight could be a bit annoying here, but I think we might be able to survive. Wait, hold up, unless this Goblin Stein does a lot of damage. Oh no. Where is my tower going? Where is my tower going? Tower, come back, please. Wait, will this be a two-tower match? Man. Okay. Okay, I actually, I think we won here. I think we won. I think he has no time. Okay, yeah, there's no way he has enough time. Alright then, I'll see you guys in the next match. You know what, guys? This might just be the perfect fit for the new card. We have this minor poison deck with the new evolved E-Drag as well. <laughs> Man, playing both of these new cards together... Well, I mean, E-Drag's not a new card, but you guys get the point. A new Evo. Playing the new Evo and the new card together, this could be a super broken combo, actually. It's actually pretty good lightning bait as well, because I think Evo E-Drag, if it's super strong, it's going to make lightning really strong in the meta. But having this card, it's also kind of like an extra bit of lightning bait, because... Okay, what? That's going straight to my tower. I'm going to see if we can actually NATO it to our king tower. Okay, not quite. Maybe if you get like a log or something, it could be possible. Okay, that's good to know at least. But yeah, anyways, we're going to have just like infinite electricity with this deck, man. This will be pretty fun here. We'll have to see whether this card is going to be better or a monk. I don't know, I feel like this card could even be a bit better. You're, you're gonna have more offense with it, so I definitely do like to have it. I'll go for the Goblin Stein here. I have to Skellies. Hopefully our E-Drag doesn't die. Okay, nice. We have double stun as well, so I think we're all good here against the Prince. Okay. Yeah, it is kind of weird to play the card, though, because you have to play... You have to play, like, the Frankenstein monster and the Doctor at once, so you get, like, a card that's meant to be played on offense in the Frankenstein monster, but then you have the Doctor that's meant to pl be played on defense, so it's kind of strange. 
Sometimes you just have to sacrifice the Frankenstein because you have to play it on defense. Okay. Yeah, it's, it is not always the best opportunity to play the ability, but I feel like when you get a good ability, it's just insanely broken. We do have our Evo E-Drag here as well right now. Evo E-Drag is just crazy, man. Evo E-Drag can actually perma-stun a unit. Like, if there's two units right next to each other, Evo Drag will perma-stun them until one of them dies. Okay, let's see how it does here against our Skellies. Okay, that's <laughs> that's very bad. Yeah, it's... Okay, well, that just... That just is not that bad, I guess. Wow, our bomb tower! Oh, man. He's probably gonna try to get a void here soon. I'm gonna Goblinstein. Okay, I think we're chilling. Oh, our E-Drag is dead, though. Okay, I'll go for the Miner in the back. Might be a little bit of damage here with the monster as well. Or maybe not. Okay, never mind. I'll cycle the E-Drag here. Got an ability. Oh. Okay, we do get our Elixir back, though, which is nice, at least. I know just for some champions, you get your elixir back way more often than for other ones. Like, I feel like for Skelly King, you never get your elixir back. But for stuff like Archer Queen, you almost always get your elixir back. The way to get your elixir back is basically to not play anything for a couple seconds after. Oh, the E-Drag chain. Nice. Yeah, so like if you pop an ability and it doesn't go off, you basically don't want to play anything for a couple seconds after that. Otherwise, you will not get your elixir back. Most of the time, if you do it right, you do get your elixir back. Okay, hold up, hold up. E-drag here. Wait, this could be bad. Hold up, hold up. This is gonna be a lot of damage. The ability is kind of annoying for us right now, too. Oh my gosh, that's doing way too much damage. Get off of my tower. Miner should do a good job here. Yeah, it is kind of nice how the Doctor doesn't do splash damage. Has a pretty slow attack speed as well. Okay, I'll poison here. Hopefully we can still defend right now. Okay, Evo E-drag time, Evo E-drag time. He's definitely gonna try to avoid it. I'll block this. Look at the E-Drag, look at the E-Drag. Okay, wait, that's not dead, that is not dead. I repeat, that is not dead. Get a Miner down in time, please. Okay, I think we got him. I'm nearly certain Poison does enough damage here. I'm actually not sure though, but I think... Nah, there's no way it doesn't do enough damage. We have our NATO too if we really need it. Alright then, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.